Hi everyone, uh, this topic will talk about Delta DPM C520W uh, Wi-Fi setting. System architecture, you can see we use a LAN cable into the access points and the uh, ISPO SPI connect to the uh, wireless uh, power meter. Uh, basically, uh, we will use the LAN cable and the ISPO SPI to uh, do the setting. And uh, for our DPM, uh, Power meter, this one actually can use uh, only i 45 or Wi-Fi. So you will see if you want to use the i 45 then uh, remember to switch the status to on. And if you want to use Wi-Fi function, uh, you have to switch uh, this one to off. And if you want to set the uh, protocol, then you have to uh, press up and down button at the same time of around uh, 5 seconds. And then you go to the com and s you can uh, set the ID or node address and then the uh, flow rate and the parity check. Uh, then I will show you how to uh, set up. So you can see here first we press the back. So you will show the uh, 45 uh, off. Then we uh, click this one. Uh, so you will switch to on and then we can click uh, press uh, up and down. Okay, then uh, we can press this one to the com and then uh, select com. Okay, so you can modify the node ID, uh, all rate and the uh, parity check over here. So uh, next parts uh, for uh, today's example, we'll use the DPM uh, version uh, two or uh, point three. Uh, link with the wireless power meter with the firmware version of uh, 108 uh, to i485 so that means we have to switch this one uh, to on uh, for the DPM shop we can uh, define the SSID uh, password and the IP address and uh, from software uh, but if you want to use the station number then uh, you have to modify from the uh, power meter uh, next, we will check uh, the serial port and then uh, we can go to the software portion. So here uh, we select the serial port 2 uh, with the station address 6 uh, RTU. Uh, but if you still remember, now the port rate is uh, 9600 uh, N91. So we click uh, connect. So after we access, so uh, click the system setting so you will see the firmware version information of this power meter okay, then we can back to the setting uh, here uh, if you want to modify the SSID uh, IP address uh, then you need to uh, power recycle the uh, power meter but if you just modify the station uh, or not ID uh, no need to power recycle uh, so example, uh, if originally uh, we use the SSID with a Wi-Fi uh, underlying mobile bus uh, underlying uh, 001 and with the IP address uh, 192.168.1.3 and then this will be the access point IP address. Okay, so we can go back to the software and then here we can change this one to Wi-Fi underlying mobile bus underline all one and then we change the IP address to 192.168.1.3 after that we uh, click the network uh, setting so as I mentioned if you uh, modify this part then uh, we have to uh, power recycle the power meter okay and next uh, we will go to the access point setting so uh, this already mentioned the IP address of uh, the, uh, this po uh, access point is a uh, uh, point 0.1.6 point so we just uh, if you still remember the this uh, username is admin then the password is a uh, password so we log in and then we can uh, do the uh, IP setting over here 
uh, network IP setting. Next will be the access point setting. So uh, remember here we must select the access point mode, AP mode. And then we go to the WAN LAN. Uh, here we change the SSID. Okay. And uh, also set the password. Uh, we use a 1 to 8 as example. Okay, after uh, power recycle the power meter, uh, then uh, we uh, can select the access uh, points uh, Wi-Fi and then uh, remember to modify the IP address of your uh, uh, Wi-Fi uh, IP. So uh, we can go here. So you can see uh, we already removed the connection from data to uh, access point. So it will show uh, unplugged. And then we go uh, Wi-Fi setting. So uh, please remember to uh, modify the IP address. Okay, so example like this. Okay, we already connect to the uh, Wi-Fi mobile. So next step, uh, we will use a VPN uh, connect to uh, uh, TCP. Okay, in the meanwhile, I just want to remind one thing uh, because at the beginning we used the IS485 to access uh, to the power meter. That means we switch this one to on. And now we try to use the Wi Fi function. So remember to switch the function uh, back to off. Otherwise, you cannot access. Okay? So after we switch to off, then we can uh, use the IP address we already assigned uh, with the station, then uh, click connect. Okay, and we go to system setting again. Okay, and now uh, we try to modify the SSID and the IP to another part. So you will see now we will change the SSID to uh, DPM underline test uh, IP address of power meter is uh, 10.10.1.20 uh, and the uh, access points IP will be uh, 10. 0.10.1.6 okay so now we modify the power meter uh, SSID uh, setting first okay uh, so SSID we modify to DPM uh, underline test and then uh, we change the IP address to 10.10.1.20 10 so after that we can uh, click uh, network set okay so once uh, finish uh, we have to uh, power recycle the power meter and next part we have to go to the access point and uh, modify the SSID and the uh, access point IP so uh, we can go here then uh, modify the setting. So we change the SSID to uh, EPM test underline test and then apply. Okay, after that we can go back to the basic configuration and so we modify the IP address uh, of access point for 10.10.1.6 uh, and then uh, apply. So after we reply, uh, then you will see uh, we still cannot reach uh, because uh, the IP address of the Ethernet here is still remain in the old one. So we also need to modify the IP address of your laptop. Okay, and we can try again. And then uh, username is admin, and then uh, password is password. And okay, so we can come here to check the basic setting again. Okay, so you see uh, it already uh, changed to 10, and then uh, we can check the uh, when length setting. So you will see DPM. So after we connect to the access point, 
uh, remember to modify your laptop IP again. Okay, and then we can go back to the uh, DPM shop. So if you still remember, the IP address we have signed here is 10.10.20. Uh, and station ID remains 6. So we can click connect. And then uh, we can go back to here and check. So everything works fine. Okay, and the uh, last one I want to mention is uh, we will try to modify the station address. Okay. So uh, station address, uh, you should uh, modify from the DPM panel. So now I will change it from uh, 6 to 8. This is the IP 10.10.1.20 uh, with the station 8. Then we uh, connect. Then uh, we click the uh, system setting. So here you will see uh, it already 6 to 8. And the uh, SSID uh, IP. Okay, so uh, that's all for uh, today's topic. Thank you.